dreams. He uses the devil to bring you to where he wants you to be. Are you still in this place? Praise the name of God. There is a season when people branded you a bad man. They branded you a bad sister. But it's in the badness of that sister that God is manifesting right now. There is no bad in what God created. There is only bad in what men are creating. And the last time I checked, a man cannot create anything. Oh, I feel it. I don't know about you. But what this? Whenever I refuse to obey God's voice, God always sends some persecutions on my way. I don't know about you. Someone says some persecutions will come my way just to force me to bow, to force me to submit, to force me to worship, to force me to surrender. Praise the name of God. There is a well for every genre. I say there is a well for every genre. There is a Delilah for every Samson. Praise the name of God. And there is a persecution for every disobedient child of God. Not everything you are going through is because of the devil. Sometimes you are dealing with what you are dealing with only because you are disobedient child of God. And that's why God will send some persecutions in your life. Not because he hates you, but because he wants to align you. The moment I am alone I shall decree and declare not my will but your will to be done are you still in this place someone say don't be intimidated on how people are reacting to you because God is gonna use their reacting to lift you a powerful supernatural and extraordinary thing is about to hit your life don't mind people baby I say don't mind people boys keep on focusing if it is the Lord who is dealing with me it is all right with me not every time is the devil sometimes he just wanted to obey him someone said sometimes he wants me to obey him. I feel in my spirit already that there are people here. You have a purpose and you have been suffering for it. Let me preach to you now, Alex. You ain't suffering because you are a bad guy. You are only suffering because you carry the purpose of God. Can I preach to you, Amos? You ain't suffering because you sinned before God. No. You are only suffering because you carry the purpose of God. Mama, can I preach to you? You ain't going through everything you are going through because the devil is attacking you. No. You are going through everything you are going through because there is a purpose of God in your life. You may not see it with the naked eye but it is already in your spirit. For out of the bellies of they who believe there shall flow the rivers of the living waters. There is something I found out that is so difficult it is not easy to believe in God and it's not either easy to believe in yourself can I pick to you my sister there is a reason as to why you are going through everything it's not because of the witchcraft come on Anna was a worshiper she was a believer she was committed to God but she had to deal with some barrenness as sometimes it was the purpose Someone say, I'm suffering because I'm a carrier of the purpose of God. Let people say what they want to say. Let them give you names. Let them fellowship with your name. But little did they know it was the purpose of God that was making you to go through what they are you are going through. And given a little time. Oh, I feel it. I feel it, church. Can I preach in this place? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, when you see my hair messed up, don't talk about me. Pray for me. Tell another neighbor, neighbor, when you see my life messed up, don't discuss me. Pray for me. I'm just dealing with the purpose of God in my life. 
and given unto time i'm coming i'm coming samuel is on the way god sent me here today to ignite you praise the name of jesus you are more you have more time for your vision and destiny and no more giving up when you have a passion for it you will stay no matter what i say your hands may be hurting your toes may be hurting your mind may be tired but because i have a purpose i will keep on doing what he called me to do for his name is jehovah jireh if you have tried to lose some weight you have tried first month second month third month and you ain't losing any weight and you woke up one day and you found out you just lost six kgs of weight you will be excited and you will run back to the gym and you start working on it there is something in your life right now that god will like to use to encourage you praise the name of god even though the whole hell is breaking loose in your life but still you can look yourself in the mirror and then you say i'm too beautiful i cannot quit right now i'm too anointed i cannot allow the enemy to sit on me i'm still powerful to allow what i'm going through to put me down did you come in this place oh i feel it touch your neighbor for me tell your neighbor neighbor i am talking about passion get back into the gym and work on it now go back to your purpose and keep on working on it get back to your destiny and keep working on it for it is here now when paul the apostle turns unto them and brushes them off saying you question my anointing you question my weaknesses you question my ways you question who i am by the way turn to your neighbor ask your neighbor neighbor who gave you permission to question who i am who gave you permission to question my anointing who gave you permission to question my marriage who gave you permission to question my relationship who gave you permission to question my children who gave you permission to question my ministry i am who i am and only the truth shall set me free but you you are going to fly tell your neighbor you ain't god leave my life alone can i pick the way i feel it oh i feel it now did you come in the house of god for some truth 